Mason, I'm a seventh grader. Hi, I'm Maggie Seiler, and I'm an eighth grader. Hi, I'm Trinity Johnson, and I'm an eighth grader. I'm Kylan Roach, and I'm a seventh grader, and we're from Westside Middle School. Nothing beats gold soda! This is our poem, This is Middle School. Dear high schoolers, you think you have it so tough, and even Hollywood agrees. No one makes movies about middle school. So everyone acts like your problems are somehow more relevant. But life isn't a John Hughes movie, and you are not the breakfast club. This, this is, is middle school, school, where you're forced to associate with people who don't even live in your gated community. Where people step on you like rungs on a ladder as you climb up the social ranks. Where you ask for a chance to improve your essay, and it takes 20% off of your final grade. Where little kid tricks like putting ketchup on your friend's chair while she's wearing white jeans now gets you suspended. Don't, Don't you forget, forget about the rumors. Before school, I asked Michael to help me find the second inverse of a tangent. I saw them talking and jumped at the chance to Snapchat them and throw a little shade. Oh my god, if that four-eyed freak thinks she's going to steal my man, she's about to catch these hands. But why would he want her if he could have all that? The, the rumors cause us. labels to be shot at us like bullets fired by an army of students, experts in being jerks. Forced isolation at lunch because we can no longer talk to anyone. Without our words being twisted like cherry stems until they are no longer recognizable. And there's nothing left but scars from all the knives in our backs. Don't you forget about the hormones. After P.E., I'm as sweaty as a lunchroom sausage, but I don't get to shower. Because we don't have open periods. Speaking of periods, if Jesus were alive, I'd sit him down and have a long talk about menstruation. If Jesus were alive, you'd be the last person he'd want to talk to. Hormones cause the clouds of sink from kids who forgot their ocean breeze deodorant. Double Ds that are too much for the creepy teachers, already distracted by our shoulders. Our sexuality to shape shift so that one minute we think no homo the next she's looking like a snack don't, don't you forget, forget about the relationships. relationships he is so good for my reputation reputation is a societal construct poorly Hakuna, your tatas she's the only one who's found true love oh my god he broke up with me who breaks up with someone on a wednesday relationships cause us to drain our starbucks cups until they're as empty as the connections we pretend to have unauthorized biographies published in 280 character chapters instagram pages where they ship us with our friends even though everyone knows he's gay the discovery that the person that we just took a bullet for is the person behind the trigger we, we have, have adult-sized problems but, but are still treated, treated like, like children, children. so we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice an entire week to write a poem about how hard middle school is. Because we think you're crazy to assume that just because you're older, your problems are somehow bigger. We are middle schoolers, and we know you see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms and most convenient definitions. But, but even, even though high school may be hard, middle school is harder. And you can take that from a teacher's pet. A queen bee. An outcast. And a jerk. Sincerely, Sincerely yours, the middle school LTAB.